everybody Ann here sitting inside the tiny house having my very iced coffee this morning because it is well I'm just gonna quit complaining it's hot it's hot it's gonna be hot all day it's gonna be stifling for the next week I just need to quit focusing on it so today not a lot of projects but there's been something on my mind so you know I gotta share it anyway have you noticed on YouTube a trend that the homesteading community seems to be leaning towards and that's not homesteading it's modern homesteading now I'm gonna show you some photos and these are at the top of the list these are the channels that are getting the most views out of anybody else on YouTube and it's kind of startling a little bit it kind of kind of makes you think Precisely what I mean is when you do a search on YouTube for homesteading, homestead, off-grid homestead, off-grid homesteading, all of that, you see these thumbnails of these channels that you kind of got to think, what does that have to do with homesteading? Well, let me show you, and I think you'll kind of see what I mean because, well, let me just show you. Let's start mild here. The one on the top, young, beautiful female. Yeah, a little bit of cleavage, skin tight jeans, lots and lots of views on that channel. People will click on that video just because of the female, the pretty female that's there. And the one below it, yeah, it's supposed to be a homesteading channel, but she's in a skin tight white t shirty dress thing that is wet. So I have no idea what that has to do with homesteading, but it sure is going to bring in the ad revenue. And if you compare the view count from the one on the top, a very wholesome homesteading channel, to the one just below it, the one below it has so many more views in a very short amount of time. So I really think there is something to exploiting female quality on YouTube to get ad revenue. It is just a thing. It's something we all have to accept. Eh, we may not like it, but you know what? These people know what they're doing. And then here's this one. I'm going to call this lady Booty Lady, the one on top. Um, half naked, out on the ice, apparently ice fishing. I'm not sure she actually ice fished because I didn't watch the video. And then we've got the homesteading family just below that. And if you notice the disparity in views and over time, it's quite stunning. So these people who made the thumbnail on the top one, well, they know exactly what they're doing and how to pull in that ad revenue. And then look at this, an older lady in a red dress, lots of cleavage, standing in front of her homestead. I guess it's a homestead. I guess it's a homesteading channel. I'm not really sure. I mean, you certainly can't tell just from the thumbnail alone. But again, whoever created this thumbnail knew exactly what they were doing because people will click that on and see if they can see more. I just don't understand it. I honestly don't. Women have worked so long to be able to not be treated like objects, yet they put themselves on display as objects. Here's another one. I actually did watch this video. This video is a, of a young, I think she's Jamaican woman. Um, she touts herself as a farmer girl and she struts around in skin tight mini skirts mini dresses and high heels perfectly manicured fingers she's gorgeous she absolutely is gorgeous but I don't think her fingernails have seen a day in the dirt I just don't see it oh and here we go we got booty lady again in a pair of booty shorts and she's bending over a piece of farm equipment exposing her booty well yes indeed I think that's her husband husband off to the left there he knows what he's doing I mean I don't know if this thumbnail was his idea or her idea but exploiting her feminine wiles for ad revenue and it works it really does I guess this is modern homesteading am I right guys and then oh look at this I'm gonna call her underpants girl I have absolutely no understanding on why this thumbnail is the way it is other than to entice people to come and watch the video once again exploiting uh, feminine wiles we'll just call them feminine wiles you know a lady standing in front of a garden bed in see-through underpants there is no reason for it really in homesteading but again they're smart she's getting lots and lots of views and of course, here's Booty Lady again. Oh yes, they're they're in some their grow room, I guess. I, I'm not sure. Um, 
totally unnecessary if you have super good content. But again, you know, YouTube, this is this is what it is. People will watch these kinds of videos. And I don't know if it's uh, a statement on YouTube or more a statement on society as a whole because they just want to see this. It's an age-old profession. I mean, it's the oldest profession in the world to exploit females for their, we'll call them feminine wiles, um, for money. And I think that's kind of what's going on here a little bit. It's, it's just a continuous thing. It's never going to go away. So we all just have to accept it. This is modern homesteading. This is the face of homesteading these days. Women in bras showing their boobies or their booties. And here, oh yeah, another very, very attractive young female. Um, I think she's talking about lettuce or something. I'm not sure. I don't think anybody's going to care after they see this thumbnail. They're just going to click it on and see if they can see any more. But again, this is the state of modern media. Pushing feminine objectivity or women as objects in order to make a buck. I don't know. I don't think it's good. Oh, yeah, we got Booty Lady again, and I'm not sure who this is underneath, but she's taking off her panties, and, well, you know what? They clicked it on to the tune of 434K views in just one week. The one above it, 96K views in five months. Yes, indeed, folks. I guess this is what Anne's Tiny Life needs to do to get more views, right? Am I right? But... Nobody wants to see a aging, middle-aged granny in, you know, her underpants like this one. Here she is, underpants lady again in another garden bed photo shoot. I just don't understand how this is what homesteading has come to. That they, they have inserted themselves into a community that would otherwise be considered very wholesome, Christian in many ways, but you know, I guess this is what people are latching on to these days. And oh, yes, here we go again. Booty Lady and her husband. I'm, I'm ex uh, suspecting that's her husband, but I will tell you if you drew a line down the middle of this thumbnail and took out the female and just had the male, they would not have had 45k views on this video. And I'm going to show you that here in a minute. See that there? That's the husband. He's the male counterpart in this relationship. Only 7.6K views in 11 months. Well, dude, you don't have big tatas and you don't have a, a JJ that you can display for people to come in and click your videos. It's just not as interesting and it's kind of sad because you can tell that this guy has worked very hard to, you know, achieve the level of fitness in his physique and yet you put him in a thumbnail, he's only going to get 7.6k views and here he is again, only 5.1k 5 views in six months. Dude, I am so sorry for you, but listen, you know, masculinity is not championed these days anymore, especially not for white dudes. I mean, masculinity is called toxic these days, so they don't want to see your masculinity. They want to see your wife's booty and her boobies. You know, you just need to get used to it. And here's another one, very buff looking dude. He's actually doing some kind of work there, and you would expect he would have so, so many more views if we were just looking at thumbnails for the purposes of sexuality, but he only got 2.2k views in 11 months. Nobody wants to see your awesome, majorly, totally fit bod. They want to see female boobies and booties. But that's okay. I'm hot. <sighs> so hot. But there's good things on the horizon. The good news is, is there are a lot of really great homesteading channels that do show up in the search engines, like Homesteading Family, um, Living Traditions Homestead, Becky's Homestead, one of the first homesteads I started following, and Justin Rhodes, he has a wealth of information about chickens, farming, oh, Gilbrook Farm, I love this lady, she's young, she's pretty, but she has never exposed herself, Bush Radical, lots of cool stuff on that channel, oh, and Papa Pepper, very wholesome family, I really love this channel, and I'd be remiss if I didn't mention Jeff from Bobblehead Homestead. So I don't want you guys to think that I'm being critical of the channels themselves that 
resort to using, you know, scantily clad females or very pretty girls or whatever for their thumbnails when they may not even have much to do with homesteading at all. And I'm sure they're fine, great people, wonderful people, beautiful girls. Yes, beautiful girls. But I don't know if that's the route I'm going to go. I mean, seriously, nobody wants to see Anne's tiny live bootay, you know, bending over a piece of farm equipment. Oh, I don't know. I don't think so, you guys. So please do go check out those other channels, the more wholesome channels that aren't getting as much views because they don't use that sort of you know, media tactic to draw people in um, by objectifying the women in their lives. I I'm going to put their links in the description below. I'm sure many of you have heard of them before anyhow. Yeah, anyway, so that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks again, Heavenly Father. You got my back. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.